Hey everyone! I'm here with Braylee, and she is officially one week old today. So we thought we would do a little update video. Here she is, looking really cute. She's all dressed up, she's got little tights on, a little like dress with a little headband. She's just relaxing with her little kitty. So yeah, I thought um, we would tell you guys and share with you guys um, what she enjoys, what she's doing. Um, obviously she's still in the newborn um, category. And she likes to be swaddled. Um, Basically, not all the time, but when she likes to go to bed, she likes to be swaddled. Like when I'm trying to put her down, and I put her, wrap her up in a blanket, all swaddled up. And she usually falls asleep after I rock or like lightly bounce her. Um, she basically sleeps a lot. Um, newborns tend to sleep for 16 to 17 hours a day. Um, it's completely normal, so yeah, she falls under that category. She likes to sleep a lot. Um, and also, like, I don't know, within a couple of weeks, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to start getting her, like, to a routine, like, basically a nighttime routine and a daytime routine, because, um, like, I've been reading everywhere and, like, um, articles that it's good to get like your baby used to like a certain routine so they can distinguish night and day from you know one another yeah. they um Hi. my dog is trying to talk to you guys too but anyways they um distinguish that about I know it's hard to believe but two weeks of age they distinguish um, time, like they can recognize time and kind of get on a schedule. So basically for that schedule, what I'm going to do is, um, well, basically you just, it's, it's very simple. Don't change. Like a lot of people during the day, like let's say they finally get their baby to sleep, you know, they turn off their cell phone, they turn off the TV, they do everything in their power to like not wake the baby up during the day. Well, I mean, the article says don't go out of your way to do that because, you know, if the baby is truly tired, they will sleep through the TV, through the phone calls, um, the dishwasher, etc. So, you know, don't like basically make your house silent just because the baby's sleeping or down for the nap, you know. Um, it's good for them to distinguish by sounds and stuff like that and the lighting in the house like you know what time of day it is um for night obviously if your baby wakes up in the middle of the night um don't start playing with the baby you know try to calm the baby down get a bottle do whatever you have to do change the baby um and you know keep the lights dim don't turn on the lights basically just you know, have a nighttime atmosphere, the house quiet, um, the lights down, you know, no crazy noises, TV running or anything like that. Um, so then that helps the baby recognize what time of day also it is. And then when they get a little bit older, they will realize, um, you know, the difference between night and day, or they can supposedly at that age realize, um, and get on a more like a better time schedule so I hope that information helps some of you guys um, yeah I guess it helped mr. boss did it help you little upside down boy yeah and it's very loud at our house um, a lot of barking <laughs> will be a lot of barking, so 
but I'm sure she's used to that. <coughs> so, yes. Um, so basically, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys are having a great night. And enjoyed this little update. We will talk to you guys later.